B C E G. Not only English. Should I go to the cafe often? Frequenting cafes during one's leisure time offers a range of advantages and disadvantages, shaping the experience based on individual preferences and priorities. On the positive side, cafes provide a welcoming atmosphere, creating a conducive space for relaxation and socializing. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the cozy ambience make it an ideal setting for catching up with friends, fostering face-to-face -face interactions that go beyond digital communication. Moreover, cafes offer a change of environment from the routine surroundings of home or work. This change can be refreshing, providing a mental break and a space to unwind. The act of enjoying a cup of coffee becomes not just a routine, but a sensory experience, especially for enthusiasts who appreciate diverse coffee blends. However, there are drawbacks to spending too much time in cafes. Financial considerations come into play. As the cost of coffee and snacks can accumulate. Additionally, the ambient noise in cafes might not be conducive to focused work or deep concentration, making it less suitable for those seeking a quiet environment. In conclusion, going to a cafe in one's free time has its merits, offering relaxation, social interaction, and a change of scenery. However, it's essential to balance the benefits with potential downsides. Such as financial implications and the potential for distraction. Ultimately, the decision to frequent cafes rests on individual preferences, with each person weighing the pros and cons based on their unique needs and circumstances.